we're standing in the warehouses of Prince Kosher yes. with mm -hmm. two very interesting guys, Ian Coucher and Ronnie Grant. Good. And you both are planning together with a partner the Laureate Distillery in Campbellton. Can you tell us why you chose Campbellton for a distillery? Good question. Uh, well, Ronnie and I are both whiskey enthusiasts at heart before businessmen or anything like that. We, we are whiskey enthusiasts and I think um, you'll agree that some of the finest whiskey uh, that Scotland has produced has come from the region of Campbelltown. Uh, and to be able to put a spade in the ground in this peninsula is, uh, you know, it's a blessing. So it, everything, the, the, the air, the, the, the wind from the western seaboard, the people, the, the ground, the, just the pace of life, everything about Campbelltown is perfect for uh, making whiskey. Needless to say, the, the water supply that we're, we're lucky enough to tap into and, uh, and the people that we're going to be blessed enough to work with, um, it's, uh, a, yeah. Where exactly will it be, the distillery? Uh, so it's on Kinloch Road. Uh, it's right next to what was the old Kinloch distillery. It's no longer there. Um, uh, right across from the swimming pool. And one of the reasons we chose it was that um, the Cross Hill uh, main pipe mm. for the water uh, runs right next to it. So that's where we're going to gain our water from. So. Okay. So how is it planned? What capacity do you want to run there? So currently um, full capacity would be 800,000 litres, which mm -hmm. is the design. Uh, we may not go to that extent to start with, but um, that's something we're still discussing. But basically the stills and uh, uh, the, you know, we, we, that's the full capacity it would be. Mm -hmm. yeah. So starting up a distillery needs a lot of money keeping it alive during the time until the first whiskey needs a lot of money again. Yeah. Uh, any plans how to finance that? Will you go for gin or will you stay with whiskey? Uh, I don't think we're going to consider doing gin. I think we'll just stay with whiskey. Mm. But, you know, we've got obviously we've got South Star on the back mm. of it, so we can do some releases with South Star and, you know, we, we have, a, we yeah, have we, ideas to find. Yeah, we've got a wee plan going. Um, it's it would appear, I mean, although money is such a, an important role in building any business, it does just seem like a, another one of very many hurdles. And, um, you know, if you can turn every hurdle into a positive adventure, it's, you know, it, 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 I, I can't see it failing. Um, obviously, it's hugely important, but as Ronnie said, we've got, we've got some plans and it's going to, you know, without question, it's going to work where you can visualize it. We have both visualized it and now we just need to walk there and get it. At which stage are we now? Uh, well, planning is in. Planning has been, uh, our Gallen Butte Council have been really, really, really wonderful. And they, um, we've gone through pre-planning. Now we're at the stage of planning has been officially in and it's just about to go uh, public. Yeah. Uh, a couple of weeks now, I think it's going to go public. So from there, we get the opportunity to answer any questions. Maybe local businesses or lo lo uh, local residents or, or anybody for that matter that might want to learn more. Or we have the opportunity then give a, like an educated response to any concerns or, or positives um, that people may have. We, uh, that's where we're at. And then spades in the ground. Will happen probably when? Now you're looking, well, certainly we're probably going to be four months in the planning. We then have to go build and warm. Um, and then once we've got that, then we can carry on. So mm. you, you're going to be looking probably six to eight months, I suppose. And then you'll be looking at a year and a half, roughly, to build it, you know, okay. from start to finish. So. And some more years until the first whiskey is there. Well, you're going to be five years, aren't you, before you could call it whiskey? But, you know, um, we, we may well sell some of the spirit, you know, that we produce and like other distilleries have and, you know, I think modern times now, you're not having to wait 10 years or whatever, you know, I think you can make it so it's good. You know, Glen Scotia here, I've got four-year-olds that are absolutely superb. You know, oh, yeah, some of the Glen Scotia was good. You, Ronnie and I were, we were down a couple of weeks ago just on a jolly, really. We came down to tour Glen Scotia, Springbank and, well, I had experience of staff at Glen Scotia and Springbank, you know, were 
bang on it. What a brilliant time we had. And, we, and Ian McAllister, the, the master distiller here, showed us some, he opened up a, five, a four and a five and a six year old, you know, just Jim Beam casks. You know, just uh, no fancy port, whisk, uh, sherry or anything, just pure spirit. And it was Ronnie that said, um, this tastes like Campbelltown, yeah. you know, just yeah. salty. And you could got the distillate, you got the, you've got the kind of the, the wood influence, but nothing's overpowering anything. Everything's working in, in sync and tandem. And you can taste like Ian's skill. You can taste Campbelltown. You can taste the, you know, <coughs> you can taste the geography, which is, well, we are uh, trying to make. If we can make that, then we'll be doing all right, you know. Yeah, so yeah. We'll be yeah. happy when you join the ranks here. And uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for the interview. It was no a pleasure problem. talking to you. Thanks, Bernard. Thank Cheers, man. Cheers. Thank you.